Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Chelsea here. I wanted to share a quick message about pushing through fear, about learning from vulnerability, and about the amazing miracles that can come from that. I have just a short amount of time that I'm able to be on right now. I've got to run pretty quick, but I wanted to just wait a minute and see if anyone's going to jump on and be here with me live. If not, I will go ahead and, and say what I wanted to say and whoever is able to catch this later will be able to catch it. So I'll just wait another minute or so. Hi Joanne, how are you? Nice to see your beautiful face. <laughs> I miss you, we haven't chatted for a while. I just wanted to wait and see if a couple of other people were gonna come on before I share what I'm gonna share. I'm really excited about this message. And this is something that's come through from quite a few experiences that I've been having lately. And it seems to be a bit of a theme that I wanted to share. Just that there's, there's gold in your vulnerability and that there's, um, I think the, the areas in our life that we have fear and that we feel vulnerable, um, you know, of course we, we tend to protect them. We tend to be very protective of them. And I think rightly so, but I think if we protect them so much, if we hold them so tight that we don't share them with the world at all, then there's a loss there. And so I just wanted to chat a little bit about um, how that's been coming through for me and, and quite a few different examples in my life. Um, and, and I think that one of the biggest ones, first off, is that, you know, here I am speaking to you live right now on Facebook where, um, you know, when Facebook, when Facebook first came out, however long ago that was now, I, I remember for the longest time I, I didn't even want a Facebook account and when I finally signed up I didn't want my photo <laughs> online. I, I was very shy and, and kind of in, I guess, internal back then and the thought of me that I would one day be speaking live on Facebook would have just been crazy to me, you know, such a crazy thought because I was just so shy and, and so... Uh, withdrawn and a lot of that was just from stuff that happened to me growing up stuff that I've I've definitely done a lot of healing on and I've done a lot of clearing on which is great but it's still you know it's still an area of vulnerability for me to be able to share what I believe to be able to share what I you know feel to be true um, but I think that the beautiful thing is is that I've um, you know, have the support. Joanne is one of the lovely people that's actually supported me through a lot of the healing. Um, but the fact that that I've gone through this and I've gone to the other side, um, you know, just the amazing things that have come out of it, the connections that I've made, the, the feedback that I've been given from people that, you know, they like to hear what I have to say. So I think that that in and of itself is such a gift. And so I just wanted to talk about you know, those areas in our lives where we do feel vulnerable and we hold them, you know, so close and we don't share them with anyone, you know, just a message for you to find a safe space, find, um, you know, people that, you know, are like-minded and people that support you and, and find people that lift you up. Thank you, Joanne. I Likewise, <laughs> you are amazing as well because when you can gain access to that, what, what your vulnerability is hiding, you will find gold. It's like this hidden treasure that all of us have. And it can come through in so many different ways. I have so many examples of, of how I've been just kind of sharing a little bit more of who I am. And, and being here on, on Facebook is one of the ones. Um, you know, for me to be able to share my, my beliefs and, and the, the healing work that I do. But in other ways, it's been coming through and in interesting creative ways. So I'll share two quick stories, but then I need to run. But I think that, I hope that they resonate with you if you feel like you need to hear this. Um, and if you feel like you need support on this, because as Joanne mentioned, you know, to have support is so important, you know. Yes, we have these vulnerabilities for a reason and we're protecting them 
for a reason. It's not necessarily something that we want to just all of a sudden, you know, expose, but finding people that can help really coax this from you and that can really help um, you step into a newer version of yourself in these creative ways. So as I mentioned, the Facebook Live is a big one for me, but there's two other aspects that I think are so fascinating. So I, as I share a lot, I've, I've been dancing and I, you know, dancing is something that I did when I was a young girl. I danced until I was about six and then I had this, you know, kind of an upsetting experience um, with my dance instructor. She actually called out some, some of my body issues. You know, she pointed to my stomach and, and mentioned that, you know, it was big or something like that in the middle of a dance class. And can you imagine what that does to a six-year-old girl? You know, I never went back to dance again for years and years after that. So I am now back dancing and I love it. And of course, you know, the women that I dance with are so hugely supportive and empowering and, and beautiful. But there was always this aspect of dance that I really struggled with. Um, you know, I love dancing when there's choreography, but when there's, you know, there's certain moments in a dance where we're asked to do a bit of a freestyle and I would freeze. I would just get so uncomfortable and terrified at the thought of, okay, now it's up to me to express what I'm trying to express. And so what I've been trying to do more and more is catch those areas. It's an area of vulnerability. It's an area of, of fear where I'm really trying to protect myself. So that's one example. And another example is within the, the creative work that I'm doing um, for my um, coaching work. So I did a post a couple of hours ago looking for an illustrator because I have this, it's kind of like a, a concept in my brain that I've been wanting to share with the world, but I've also been afraid and, and feeling kind of vulnerable about sharing it because I think often when we have these vulnerabilities, we're afraid that people are gonna think that, you know, we're weird or, you know, we're crazy or there's something that's a little bit different within us. But at the same time, I know that this is a message that I need to share with the world. So it's been a little bit of a, I guess, just a fear of, of actually expressing that. But then at the same time, I'm holding it, or I have been holding it so close that it could potentially never be birthed if I don't do that. So with both of these things, with my creative work, with my coaching work and with dance, this is something that I had just been experimenting a little bit with, is really finding you know, the right people to work with on this, to explore these areas where I've still been a little bit closed down, where I've still been holding back a little bit. And the beautiful experiences that have been coming out of this, um, you know, just meeting amazing people and feeling this validation that, you know, we all still do need within our lives is there's something that, that is so miraculous from that. So I just, you know, if you are resonating with this and you're, you're feeling like, you know, you've got yourself a little bit closed down, like you're, you're afraid to share something that you're wanting to create into the world or birth into the world, um, you know, encouraging you to really find your safe harbor and find your safe spaces to really explore this vulnerability, to do the healing, because as I mentioned, usually when we have these areas of vulnerability, we're just trying to protect ourselves, and rightly so, but you know, if you can do it with a healer, if you can do it with someone that can really help support you and guide you through this, um, it's so worth it because amazing things will come out of it. Um, you know, you have this beautiful uniqueness to you that only you have and it's so important to share and shine your light with the world and so if you can go through the healing that's needed so that you can make that happen, we get to see and, and experience all of who you are. So, you know, I think back if I remained that girl that was terrified to speak and was terrified to be just, you know, here talking about what I think about, you know, I feel like that would have been, at least for me, a loss. And, you know, so we don't want to have that happen. We want more and more people that are feeling free and able to express who they are and share their gifts with the world because the world will be a better place when that happens. I just wanna see your comment, Mia. 
You're absolutely right. It does take a lot of inner strength and confidence to be vulnerable. There's so much healing that's involved and it can be very, very scary, but it is definitely something that I think can be done. And, and really, in order for us to, to live within a, a feeling of freedom and joy and happiness, it's something that really, you know, I think is imperative that we explore. And there's so many amazing healers out there. I don't know if Joanne is still on, but I give a huge amount of credit to Joanne Vassilo, who has been one of my mentors and healers who has done amazing work to help me clear through a lot of things that were holding me back, you know, to allow me to be able to be here speaking with you right now <laughs> without that fear. So anyways, I hope that this message, if you need to hear this message, that you know you reach out either to me, my booking link is posted here, or reach out to anyone that you know that can help you through your own vulnerability and that can help you heal what needs to be healed so that you can allow these beautiful gifts to be realized in the world, even if it is just for yourself. So thank you for watching and I will chat with you again soon. Lots of love.